Hey everybody, on Sunday, November the 29th, we enter into the season of Advent. Advent is a time of expectant waiting as we prepare to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We will begin our worship series, The Real Meaning of Christmas, that day, and each week we'll light a candle on the Advent wreath for hope and joy and love and peace. Things that we always yearn for, but this year in particular. Travel plans and all family and family gatherings may not happen the same as in previous years. Some activities may not take place. There will be challenges. Things may be simpler. Advent may not be quite what we planned and hoped for or expected, but let's remember how it all began. The birth of Jesus, the long-awaited Messiah that people longed for, didn't happen in the way people expected either. The king of kings didn't ride in on a horse as a warrior. He didn't arrive wearing a crown or yielding a sword. He arrived as a humble baby, born in a simple manger, to parents who were in a different place on a journey. And yet, Jesus was just what the world needed. To help us prepare for the coming of his birth, we invite you to a drive through event on Sunday afternoon, November the 22nd, from 2 to 4 p.m. We'll be distributing Advent to go kits, and everyone is invited to pick one up. This is a gift to you from the church. In it, you'll find candles to help you create your own Advent wreath, an Advent devotional written by church members, a decoration to remind us of the real meaning of Christmas, and a note from your pastors. Online services will continue for the traditional and higher ground services, along with the Ignite service, which meets in person. There'll be an Advent Churras family Christmas worship service at Camp Marywood this year on December the 13th at 5 p.m. And you'll have an opportunity to make Christmas special for a child as we participate in our annual angel tree tradition virtually. We'll observe Christmas Eve in a different way this year. Instead of our usual Christmas Eve services, we will offer two services on December the 23rd. The service at 4 p.m. is specifically for older and at-risk worshipers, and you'll be in a smaller gathering. There will be another service at 5.30 p.m., on then, and then on Christmas Eve, we'll offer services at 3 o'clock, 4.30, and 6 o'clock p.m. All services will be the same, both days, uh, lasting about 30 to 40 minutes, and will take place in our beautifully decorated sanctuary and will consist of some carols, the reading of the Christmas story, and a short message or homily. Reservations will be required, and seating is limited. Please visit our website for more information and to register. We'll have safety protocols in place. We'll wear masks, and we will social distance. If you are high risk, we encourage you to worship at home. The 4 p.m. service on December 23rd will be live-streamed, and then available to watch online later. I hope that during this Advent season, you will take advantage of this quieter, simpler time to reflect on the real meaning of Christmas and why we celebrate this season. It will be a different Christmas, but a good Christmas. Remember, we are people of hope and light, and John's Gospel reminds us that though there is darkness in these difficult times, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Let's celebrate Advent together.